brings up a story, a story of what? Nothing. What, what do people write in poems? Moral stories, yes, possible. Anything else? Describe their feelings, okay, possible. So this morning, let us turn to page six of unit three. Can I have someone who would like to volunteer to read this aloud? Anyone? You're the prime. Okay. Go on, give it. Inform and teacher, fake and read. I do so like my brother that's for talking with me for him. And it's for one other. It's good. Puzzle. Puzzle. Or how it's and him. It's big and awful. 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 Yes. For one of us. Where one a twin is no no soon, new week. New week. New week. Okay, thank you. Next, anyone would like to copy this? Yes. One day, two men went to the wars before our kids were finished. As we were being washed by dress, we got completely mixed. And thus, to see my fate. Or rather, me. My brother John got Christian blue, and I got Christian blue. The feather lightness even dog, dogged, dogged. My footstep went at school, and I always get in trouble. For John turned out a fool. Thank you. Okay, next. Anyone? I put this question obviously. Everyone I knew. What would, what would you do if you if you were me to prove that you were you? Our close resemblance turned the type of my domestic life. For somehow my inter, my inter friend became my brother's okay. wife. Became my brother's wife. In short, year after year the same. Absurd mistakes went on. And I died. The neighbors came and buried. Buried brother John. Okay? Alright. So, twin. When we say the word twin, what comes to your mind? Similar. 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 Looks alike. Alright? Anybody has a twin here? No. no? Do you have a twin brother or sister? No. Alright, so we can imagine here. So who are the twin here? John and? Is the name given? Yeah, John and I. Uh, John and the writer. Very good. Okay, John and the writer. Henry. Okay, so Henry is the writer. Very good. Okay. So what happened actually? Do they look alike? Yeah. Based on your meaning? Do they look alike? Yes. And, okay? When they look alike, okay, were there positive things or negative things that happened to both of them? Negative things. Why do you say it's negative? Can you give me an example of what actually happened? Based on your reading. What are some of the problems of being alive? Can you find the example as given in the poem? Given in the poem? Yes, Ali. For somehow, my intended right became my brother's My intended right. What does it mean? She's laughing. What do you understand, Ali? Intended right became my brother's wife. So? She should be Henry's wife. Okay, that girl should be Henry's wife. But somehow, okay, she got married to Henry's brother. Okay, John. Alright, good. What else? What other example can we find? Let us look from the very beginning. The naming? At the hospital? Christian. Christian, 
Okay? My brother John got Christian me and I got Christian him. What do you know what what does it mean by Christian? Okay? Okay? This is in Christianity. Okay? When okay, they are about to name a person based on certain character. So that is what we call Christianing. Okay? Yes, giving okay, giving a name to the babies. Alright? So they got mixed up. Okay? Is there any other? How about the next one? The fatal life has even dotted my footsteps when at school. Dotted, what does it mean, dotted? I always and I always getting flogged for John turned out a fool. Flogged means what? Flogged means getting all the scolding. Okay? Scolding. Because why? John turned out a fool. And okay? John is not that smart. So, okay, his brother got all the scolding because okay, they were mixed up. Alright? So that is another example. And the last example was when who died? Henry died. Okay, the neighbors came and buried John. Okay? So because they have mistakenly assumed. So these are some of the examples of the problems faced by twins in this story. Okay? Um, let us look at the questions. Why did other people mistake the author for his brother? This look alike. Ah, yes. Okay? Other people, okay, mistaken the author for his brother because they look alike. Okay? And then how was the author Christian when the brothers with the brother's name? They got mixed up by the nurse. By yes, by the nurse. Right? Or rather nurse whim. Okay, whim is okay, sometimes it is okay simply by the nurse wish. Okay? Alright. The next one, okay, number six. What does kin and kin mean? Kin and kin mean kin and kin, okay, is a plural noun. Alright? It refers to what? Kin and kin is your it puzzle all our kin and kin. Okay? When you have family relationship. Okay, related. When you are related by blood. Alright? So kin and kin. So number seven, what would be the best answer? <coughs> Classmates? Okay, yes. How about number eight? Turn the tide off. It is an expression <coughs> Alright, I would like you to Google this and come back to me on when will you see me again on Thursday. Okay, tell me what is the exact meaning of this expression. Okay? Alright. Okay, now we are going to move on to the next page A. Okay? Oh yeah. Leisure. Now, if we look at the um, <coughs> the sentences written in the poem, okay? Look at the first and the second line, okay? The last word of the first and second line, care, stare, right? The next one you have, bows, cows. The following line you have, pass, grass. Okay, pass, grass. The next you have, nine. Next, glass, dance. Next, can we begin? And the last one? Yes. So, what can you tell me? Each pair of the lines you mentioned, they? What? When they have the same meaning and there's the same sound, what do we call them? Rhythm. Not rhythm, they? Rhyme. They rhyme. Okay, rhyme. R H Y M C. Okay, they rhyme. They have the same sound. R H Y. Okay, R H Y M E. Rhyme. They rhyme. Okay. Do they have the same spelling? 
Is it necessary for them to have a six bedding? No. Okay. However, they sound okay similar. They sound alike. Good. Okay. Care, stare, bows, cows, pass, grass. When you have this kind of rhyme, what does it give as you read the poem aloud? How do you feel when you read them aloud? It sounds more spiritual. Yes, could be. Okay, you feel okay. You feel more alive when you read. You feel as if you want to keep on reading until you finish to the last line. Okay, All right. And most importantly, the content. What can you understand? The title itself, leisure. Leisure. What does it mean, leisure? Time. Do you have an idea? Leisure? If I ask you, what do you do during your leisure time? <coughs> so, leisure? Free time. Yes, free time. Good. Okay, free time. Okay? If leisure means free time, what does the writer, W.H. Davis, is a very well known poet, what does he mean? by writing this poem. What do you think is the whole message about this poem? About, about what? Oh. About his life. Okay. What about his life? Can you tell a little bit more? Okay. We always say that our life, okay, in life we do not have free time. Why do you think we do not have free time? No time management. No time management. Poor time management. You, is that what you mean? Yes, full of time management, okay? Alright, okay, you are getting it. So, can we say that God has given us 24 hours a day? So, can we say that we do not have free time? No. <laughs> so what is wrong with us? You were saying? Our? How? Oh, we like to waste time. The way we manage our time. Okay? It is possible that we manage our time poorly. So that is why we complain and say that we do not have free time. We do not even have free time to do all these things. If you look at the description in the, in the poem, no time to stand beneath the vows. What, what are the vows? If you guess, if I ask you to guess, to stand beneath the vows. So beneath is below. The bar? Trees. Good. Okay? Trees. And stare as long as sheep and cows. When wood we pass, squirrels hide their nuts in grass. No time to see in broad daylight. Streams full of stars like the skies at night. Do we have all this time to do? What are these things? If we look at the examples given, these are the behaviors of what? Appreciating what? The environment, nature. Do we have the time to appreciate our nature? Do you really have the time to even look at the squirrels? What do they do with their nuts? No. Have you ever sat? When was the last time you ever sat under a tree? You have time? No. What do you do? You play computer games. <laughs> What do you do? You sleep. No. You study. <laughs> yes. Awesome students. Okay. So we say, no time to turn at beauty's glance. Beauty is capitalized. What do you think beauty refers to? In this. Sometimes you have to understand. When we write a poem, normally it is Okay, the writer sometimes use an object or something to represent something else. Okay, it can be a symbol. It is not exactly what he meant, but he put that as a symbol. So if you look at this text, it says beauty's glance. Beauty is capitalized. What do you think beauty means? A noun. Yes, very good. A noun. Okay, a noun. But it refers to actually it means what? And the next one say, watch her feet, how they can dance. No time to wait till her mom. Sorry? A girl. A girl? No time to wait. At which that smile, her eyes began. A poor life this is. Full of care, we have no time. A girl. 
Okay? Alright. Why do you say this a girl? Watch her. Watch her. Okay, good. You have pronoun her. <laughs> so that could be a female. Watch her feet, how they can dance. No time to wait till her mouth can enrich that smile. Her eyes began. Okay? But in a larger context, what if I say, okay, beauty refers to the earth. The earth. The earth has so much to offer, has so much, okay, for us to wonder, to appreciate. Can you see that? Alright? That is possible. I can interpret that way. It is not wrong. Okay? Do you see a bigger picture? We do not have time even to appreciate the earth because we are too busy. Or, okay, he mentioned that we have poor time management. So that is why we fail to make use of our 24 hours a day very wisely. Okay? So, do you get the message of the poem? As human beings, we often complain we do not have leisure time. Leisure means free time because we are busy doing something else. We do not turn to nature. We do not have time to appreciate the environment. What is happening to our environment? Do you know that we have water shortage in our country? Water shortage? Okay, what have we done? Do we contribute to water shortage? Could be, yes. How often do you wash your car? How often do you bathe every day? <coughs> so, now, do you understand the message of the poem? Your next task is, you have to write the message of the poem in a form of a letter to your friend. Okay? Look at the next part of page 8. Okay? You are now supposed to write a letter to your friend okay, by the name of Azwar. And you are going to write to him. Okay? That's that beginning. Dear Azwar, how are you? I am fine, but very busy with my assignments. At times, I feel that I do not have time to. You continue from there on. Can you do that? And the rest of the letter should contain the message of the poem that you would like to tell us what. What would you like to tell us what? About what? About time management could, could be? What else? About nature, appreciating nature, yes. Okay. So, write a letter of one page long, okay, to your friend with the message of this poem. Can you do that? Any questions? Clear? Yes. So that would be your homework. Okay? Alright? That would be your writing homework. So when is it you? Bring it when you come back this Thursday. Okay? Is there any question regarding your homework? No? Clear? Okay, let us move on to page 9. Simple past tense. Alright, so the words in bold are all in simple past tense. Okay? Let us look at the notes. When do you use simple past tense? Alright, when we talk about action states or situations that are now finished. Okay? Alright? So you uh, you have that okay, that chart now and then past and future. So you will say Basho lived in the 17th century. He was a poet. He wrote haiku. He didn't stay in one place. You can also use simple past tense with time expression, which refers to the past. Like last week, 1681, 300 years ago, yesterday, all these are time expression. And then, when you form a simple past, you will add D or ED to the regular verbs. Look at the base form. You have lived, so past form would be lived. Hot, hot. <coughs> travel, travel. Prefer, preferred. Okay? So be careful, there are often spelling changes when you add them. So your spelling tend to change. So you have to be aware of that. 
And many common English verbs are irregular. Irregular, their past tense is not formed by adding D or ED. So what do we mean by that? If you have the B as your base form, the simple past would be was or were. Bill, B-U-I-L-T in past form. Choose, chose. Go, went. How about put? P-U-T. Put. Okay, it's, it stays the same. How about cut? C-U-T. Cut. How about read? R-E-A-D. Red. How do you spell it? Same spelling. Good. Same spelling, but different pronunciation. Read, read. Okay, good. You can construct negative statements by adding did not and the verb must be in base form. I did not move to Japan. They did not come yesterday. He did not wait for too long. So when you have did not to form a negative statement, the verb will be in the base form. You will not add ed to the verb. Are you clear? When you have did not in negative, the verb must be in base form. You should not add ed or d to the verb. Okay? Remember that. Okay? Let us try very quickly. Answer. Next page. You add ed. Why? B O U G H T. Catch. Hot. How do you spell? C A U G H T. Good. Do. Did. Look. Yes. E D. Find. F O U N D. Give. G A V E. Good. Hurry. I E D. Y will now become I E D. C. Saw. Vote, voted. Just add D. With one, W O N. Understand? Understood. Good. Think? Thought. T H O? Yes. Say? Say. S A I D. Read? Read. Put? Put. Need? Needed. Live? L I V E. Lift. Lift. A L I V E Okay? <coughs> so that is the way to construct okay, your simple bus. Let us try the next one. Okay, very quickly in your group, okay, with your group members, complete these short biographies. Okay? We have three persons' biographies. Use the simple past tense from form of the verbs in the boxes and complete them. Very quickly now. Okay? Can you have the answers very quickly? <coughs> Girls, can you read the first <coughs> biography of Lin Yu Tang? Anyone? Lin Yu Tang was a Chinese American writer. He spent most of his life in the United States. Dr. Lin wrote a lot about his native China. <coughs> His books included several novels. He also translated other people's work. Lin died at the age of 80. Okay, very good. Okay, so everything in simple parts. Okay, this group? Anna Marie. Anna Marie Wilson Moses was an American thinker. She began on the farm in New York State. Because she had a thing in her 70s, people called her Grandma Moses. She never painted, she never painted any of her art training. Moses lived simple, colorful scenes of farm life. Okay, the first one you say Anna Marie was. What, what was the first one? <coughs> Anna Marie was. An American painter. She she lived on a farm in New York because she she began painting in her seventies. People called her Grandma Moses. She never had okay. Has will now become had. She never had any formal art training. Moses painted. Painted. 
simple colorful scenes. Okay, good. And the last one, boys, Orville and Wilbur Wright. Orville Wright and Wilbur Wright. Were American Indian inventor. The two brothers built their first place in their bicycle shop in Ohio. Good. On December 17, 1903. Orville built their plane flyer one a distance of 120 feet. Wilbur, for men and a boy watch from the ground. The first controlled power driver flight took place near Kitty Hawk, North uh, Carolina. It, it lasted only about... It lasted? It lasted only about 20 seconds. 12 yeah. seconds. Okay, good. Okay, lasted. L-A-S-T-E. <coughs> right? So, when you write biographies, Normally, you write about someone who is no longer alive. Alright, so you will tend to use past tense. So this is how you do that. Okay, so I would like you to recap okay, by doing page 3 and 4 of your textbook. Okay, unit 3, page 3 and 4. Please read fashion and technology. And then on page 4, you have Iguana Land Exports of Manufactured Goods. Answer all the questions, continue till page 5, and then write a simple letter to Aswan on page 8. Okay? So your letter should be a page long. Alright, when we come back on Thursday, we will discuss your letters as well as the answers to the okay, exercises. Are you all clear? Yes. Okay. So please keep on practicing. When we come back on Thursday, we will recap more about simple past tense. Okay. Is there any questions before I dismiss you? Alright. It is Monday. Keep on smiling. Stay positive. Alright. And have a good week ahead. Alright. Yes. Have a nice day. Keep on smiling. Go and have your breakfast. I am sure you will be more fresh and alive. Okay? So I will see you uh, on Thursday. So thank you boys and girls. Assalamualaikum.